This is the third part of L'Hopital's rule. In this lecture, we will be discussing the indeterminate forms 0 power 0, 1 power 0 and infinity minus infinity. In the previous lectures, we discussed the indeterminate forms of the type 0 by 0, infinity by infinity and 0 into infinity. Now, we are going to discuss the L'Hopital's rule to find the limits of functions having the indeterminate forms 0 power 0 and 1 power infinity. Suppose we have a function of this form f of x power g of x such that limit x approaches to a f of x equal to limit x approaches to a g of x equal to 0. Then the limit of this function as x tends to a takes the form 0 power 0 that is limit x approaches to a f of x power g of x takes the form 0 power 0 because we have as x tends to a f of x tends to 0 and g of x tends to 0. So this limit takes the indeterminate form 0 power 0 or if the limit of this function f of x is equal to 1 and the limit of the function g of x is equal to infinity then in that case this limit takes the form 1 power infinity. So in both these cases to find the limit we can let y equal to f of x to the power g of x and we can ap apply the logarithm that is ln y is equal to we have ln of f of x power g of x. So this is nothing but g of x into ln of f of x. So we have now after finding the limit, limit extends to a ln of y will be limit of this that is limit x approaches to a g of x into ln of f of x. So if uh, this limit takes the form 0 power 0 that means uh, when uh, limit of f of x is 0 and limit of g of x is 0 as x tends to a then this will take the form that is as x tends to a we have uh, g of x tends to 0 and as x tends to a we have f of x tends to 0 that is ln 0 that is ln 0 is takes the form infinity so in this case we, this function or this limit will take the form uh, f uh, 0 into infinity form we know this form can be converted into infinity by infinity form or 0 by 0 form and can be find the solution or uh, uh, the limit of this ln y. So after obtaining the limit of ln y, suppose limit extends to a ln y is equal to some uh, value b, then we can say that limit extends to a y is in nothing, nothing but e power b because we have e power ln y is equal to f of x power g of x right so this will be the uh, limit of the function y that is the fun function f of x power g of x if we obtain the b as the limit of ln y then we have limit of y is nothing but e power b so that is the case here now we can discuss an example find limit x approaches to 0 plus x power x x approaches to 0 plus x power x. So we know as x tends to 0 plus we have this this th li limit takes the form 0 power 0. So uh, we can take or we can choose y is equal to x power x therefore ln y is equal to ln of x power x that is nothing but x into ln of x therefore now finding the limit of ln y we have limit x approaches to 0 plus ln y is nothing but limit x approaches to 0 plus x into ln x now as x tends to 0 we have this is tends to 0 and this tends to ln 0 that is infinity so this will take the form 0 into infinity form now to apply the L'Hopital's rule we can rearrange this function as limit x tends to 0 plus ln x divided by 1 by x. 
ln x divided by 1 by x. So now it will take the form infinity by infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule that is limit x approaches to 0 plus derivative of ln x is 1 by x derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. This is by L'Hopital's rule. So we have this is equal to limit x approaches to 0 plus dividing this we will get uh, minus x. So this is equal to 0. Therefore, we obtain that limit x approaches to 0 ln y is equal to 0. Therefore, limit x approaches to 0 y is nothing but e power 0 which is equal to 1. Now, we assumed that y is equal to x power x. So, we obtain that uh, limit x approaches to 0 plus x power x is equal to 1. Now, we can discuss another example. find limit x approaches to 1, x to the power 1 by 1 minus x. We have the function x power 1 by 1 minus x. So, as x tends to 1, we have this will be 1 power 1 by 1 minus 1. That is, it will take the form as x tends to 1. The limit will take the form 1 power 1 by 0 that is 1 power infinity. So to find the limit that is it is the indeterminate form. So to find the limit we can let y is equal to x to the power 1 by 1 minus x. So therefore ln y is equal to 1 by 1 minus x ln x that is ln of this that is 1 by 1 minus x into ln of x or this is equal to ln x divided by 1 minus x. Now limit x approaches to 1 ln y is equal to limit x approaches to 1 ln x divided by 1 minus x that is as x tends to 1 ln 1 it is 0 so and 1 minus 1 is again 0 so it is takes the form 0 by 0 form so applying the L'Hopital's rule here we have limit x tends to 1 the, de the uh, derivative of numerator is derivative of ln x that is 1 by x divided by derivative of 1 minus x is negative 1. So this is equal to, this is by L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to, as x tends to 1, we have this is minus 1 by 1, that is minus 1. So this is the limit x tends to 1 ln y, therefore limit x tends to 1 y is equal to e to the power minus 1, that is 1 by e. Therefore limit x tends to 1 we have y is equal to 1 by this uh, x power 1 by 1 minus x that is limit x tends to 1 x power 1 by 1 minus x is equal to 1 by e. Now we can discuss indeterminate forms of this form infinity minus infinity. So if we have the limit in this form then then by some algebraic simplifications, we can convert this indeterminate forms into infinity by infinity or zero by zero forms. For example, suppose we need to find the limit. Limit x tends to zero, one by x sin x minus one by x square. Suppose we need to find the value of this limit. So, if we directly apply this value of x as 0 in this function, we will get 1 by 0 minus 1 by 0. That is, it will take the form infinity minus infinity. We know 1 by 0 will be infinity. That's as x tends to 0, it will be infinity and this will be infinity. So, this will take the form infinity by infinity as x tends to 0. So, this limit can be written as limit x approaches to 0. Here we have if you are taking the for LCM of these two we have x square into sin x and here we have x minus sin x. Now as x approaches to 0 we have this is 0 minus 0 so the numerator will be converges to 0 and denominator is also converges to 0. So now it takes the form 0 by 0. 
now we can convert or we can directly apply L'Hopital's rule here limit x approaches to 0 derivative of x minus sin x is 1 minus cos x divided by derivative of x square sin x that is 2x into sin x plus x square into derivative of sin x that is cos x now if you are this is by L'Hopital's rule now if you are applying this limit that is as x approaches to 0 this will be 1 minus cos 0 that is 1 minus 1 so we have this 0 in numerator and in denominator we will have again 0 so now it's take again the form 0 by 0 so we can apply L'Hopital's rule again so we will get limit extends to 0 derivative of 1 minus cos x is 0 minus derivative of cos x is minus sin x divided by 2 into x into sin x derivative of 2x sin x is 2x cos x plus 2 sin x plus derivative of x square cos x that is x square into derivative of cos x is minus sin x so here we have minus plus 2x cos x this is by L'Hopital's rule so this is equal to limit x approaches to 0 here we have sin x in numerator divided by 2x cos x plus 2x cos x that is 4x cos x plus 2 sin x minus x square sin x. Now applying this limit as x tends to 0 we have sin 0 it is 0 divided by here we have 4 into 0 plus 2 into sin 0 minus 0 square into sin 0 that is 0. So again it is uh, take the form 0 by 0. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So limit x approaches to 0. Derivative of sin x is cos x divided by derivative of 4x cos x that is 4 into cos x into derivative of x is 1 plus uh, or minus that is derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So 4 into minus 4 into sin x plus 2 into derivative of sin x is cos x minus x square into derivative of sin x is cos x minus 2x into sin x. Now this is by L'Hopital's rule again. Now applying the limit we have cos 0 divided by 4 into cos 0 that is 4 into cos 0 minus 4 into sin 0 plus 2 into cos 0 minus 0 square into cos 0 minus 2 into 0 into sin 0. Cos 0 is 1 divided by 4 into 1 minus 4 into sin 0 is 0 plus 2 into cos 0 is 1 minus 0 square into cos 0 so 2 into sin 0 is again 0 so minus 0 so we will have this is 1 by 4 plus 2 that is 1 by 6 will be the required limit